black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. It's such a pleasure to be with all of you. I will begin with with you, Ray, and this important story. When did you know that this was a story that the masses needed to hear? Because it definitely talks about, you know, the importance of a tribe and something we don't hear often enough in a lot of redemption, not redemption stories, but success stories, uh, the benefits of having the, the people around you to make you, help you be successful. When I get, well, uh, it's, I guess it's a two-part question for me because, uh, well, two-part answer, because when I first figured it out was um, when the sports reporter who was covering Clemson at the time, um, he wanted to talk to me for 10 minutes and ended up talking to me for six hours over a two-day period. Um, then I was like, okay, maybe this is something here. And then his story went from a sidebar to the front page. And then I thought like, oh, well, maybe we have something here. Um, but I've, I've always known I lived a, a quite cr- crazy life because uh, I was raised by my coaches that I grew up with uh, since I was eight. So it's, I stopped living with my family and start living with coaches that I played with. And I knew even then, like, you know, there's just a bunch of things in there that people are going through every day that could help someone. Um, and then Clemson came along and then the story got national attention. So it was, I guess everybody wanted to hear about it. it I guess the AP felt like they needed to pick it up. So that was something that's pretty big. So it was just those uh, validations along the way that let me know that, hey, well, maybe maybe your life is something that people need to hear about. Absolutely. Reginald, when you have a, a talented young actor like Jay, who is going to embody Ray, who is a real living, breathing person, not a fictional character. How did you help guide him to embody Ray in his essence and not just imitate him? Well, you know, you you start by picking well. And in the case of Jay, he came in, he gave a fantastic read. He's got that dazzling smile and, and, and perfect charm. And then we took him out in the field and we said, okay, can you throw? Can you catch? Can you run? Can you hit? And so we were convinced that he had all of the aspects required to play Ray. And we had the good fortune of having Ray with us as we're making the movie. You know, they worked out together, they hung out together. And, 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 and Jay is such a dedicated actor. He got to the essence of who Ray was. So as you said, it's not about imitation, it's about embodying the spirit. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mark, this is such a beautiful story. I mean, Disney is is known for these tales of redemption, of success, of, of defying the odds. Why was it important for you to be involved with this project and what smoke, what spoke most about it to you? Yeah, you know, you got to go all, all the way back to 2006 when the story took place. That That's when I first heard of it. And, uh, and I saw the pieces on it that they did ESPN, ABC News. Uh, and I was really, really moved. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of, you just get a sense from stories, you know, whether you read about them in a newspaper or an article, a book, or hear about it, but you got to be moved in some way. And, and, and I felt it, uh, you know, so I, I reached out to the school, got in touch with Ray and ended up uh, lucky enough to get his rights. And then we went on this 14 year journey together where we had ups and downs and close calls and, you know, just never got it there. And then when, you know, Disney Plus announced uh, their platform, you know, and having done a lot of those movies that, that sit on that platform now, uh, I thought it could be uh, a good fit. So they agreed. They, they loved the project. And, you know, we did a lot of work on the script, uh, brought in another writer, Randy McKinnon, who did some great work, brought in Reggie to direct. And, and uh, you, know, you just got to put a great team together. You know, it starts with a great story and, and you got to feel something emotionally. So, you know, I just felt like this, this could make something really, really special. And, and I feel like the timing is almost better than it was in 06 now for some reason you know with all the social issues and you know the change that's happening and just just a story about diversity that that might not have happened years ago and now they're being celebrated so it's kind of great timing absolutely and ray lastly i asked jay if he had a mantra or anything special that he did each day he was filming to make sure that he was honoring you properly and he said i have ray on my hip 
like the whole time. (laughs) You know, how much did you have to guide him? What did you have to tell him? Like, I don't walk like that. You got to make sure you do it like that. How much handling did he need? No, uh, Jay is a a wonderful human being. And I would like to believe that I'm a wonderful human being. So it was easy for a wonderful human being to portray a wonderful human being. (laughs) (laughs) So um, far as Jay is concerned, um, we're we're similar spirits. Um, And then we were already within a mile and a half of each other in, in Los Angeles and not knowing it. And so but it was it was great to actually sit with him and be able to kind of let him into my life because they we filmed in Atlanta, so he got to meet my entire family. Um, as well as uh, my brother and we shared a bunch of stuff about each other and through self-disclosure, you become close. So uh, we became close because we, we shared a lot about each other. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it's been great. Awesome. But as far Thank as you my, so much, Jim. I'm sorry. Oh no no no! I was just no, say. As, as far as mantras are concerned, it was a uh, it was a thing a chant that I said in the film itself. Uh, my speaking role was um, uh, a chant that goes: uh, "Once the task has begun, never leave until it's done. Be not labeled great or small. Do it well or not at all." And uh, it is also something that made Reggie's piece, uh, the Black Godfather, Clarence Avant, uh, that he <laughs> did the documentary that he did. So it's just. Some that has been with me my entire life. And then I heard it when I think Quissy Jones brought it up on, on that documentary. And, and mm-hmm. so it just, you know, nobody uh, tells the same lie, I guess. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. I loved it. I thought it was so cool. And I, we need more of these stories and, and the human spirit and perseverance. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.